and Nonverbal Wednesday students. Join me as you learn how to count, solve, and enjoy math. This is Teacher Jarrell, and welcome to our class. Have you ever wondered how engineers design the curves of roller coasters and bridges? How do they do it? What do they use to describe the curves of various types? Very good! Engineers use mathematical expressions like polynomials. For this session, we will talk about polynomials and the different techniques in multiplying polynomials. Before we proceed to the lesson, I would like to invite you all to a magical learning experience at home. Enroll in Vibal's Happy Homeschool Program. Check this video's description to learn more. As we learn how to multiply polynomials, we will answer these three questions. First, what are the types of polynomials? Second, what does the law of exponents state? And lastly, what should we remember in multiplying polynomials? Are you ready, students? Come on, and let's begin our numberful journey. What does a polynomial mean? A polynomial is an algebraic expression where all variables are expressed with non-negative integer exponents. It can have constants, variables, and exponents, but never division by a variable. Also, it can have one or more terms, but not an infinite number of terms. Now, do you want to know the types of polynomials? Come on, let's find out. How many terms can you spot in this polynomial? Awesome! This polynomial has one term and we call this monomial. How about this? Great! This polynomial has two terms and we call this binomial. How many terms can you see here? Good job! This polynomial has three terms and we call this trinomial. Let's take a look at these examples. Try to identify the number of terms and the type of polynomials. Are you ready? Let's start. How many terms can you spot here? Splendid! There are two terms so we call this binomial. How about this? Good job! There are three terms so we call this trinomial. How many terms can you spot here? Awesome! We can spot one term so we call this monomial. You did great! Since we already know polynomials, we can now try solving multiplication problems involving it. Come on! Let's go! In multiplying polynomials, we need to remember the loss of exponents. The product of powers states that when we multiply powers of the same base, we add the exponents as x raised to m times x raised to n is equal to x raised to m plus n. In power of a power, we multiply the powers as x raised to m raised to n is equal to x raised to m n. And the power of a product states that a term with two or more factors raised to a power is equal to the product of its factors raised to the same power as ax raised to the power of m is equal to a raised to m times x raised to m. Let's begin by multiplying two monomials together. We multiply the coefficients, then multiply the variables using the product of powers. Ready to try it? Let's find the product of these two monomials. We will use the associative property of multiplication to rearrange the factors first.
multiply the coefficients 8 times negative 9 equals negative 72. Then multiply the variables using the product of powers. Three plus two equals five. Therefore, the final product is negative seventy two x raised to the power of five. How about multiplying a polynomial by a monomial? Multiplying a polynomial by a monomial involves repeated use of the distributive property and the rules for multiplying monomials. Likewise, other laws of exponents are to be used. Now, let's solve for the product of 12x and 5x plus 4. This time, we will use the distributive property of multiplication to rearrange the factors. 12x times 5x equals 60x squared. 12x times 4 is equal to 48x. Therefore, the final answer is 60x squared plus 48x. Do you know that we can arrive with the same answer by multiplying the polynomials vertically? Yes, you heard it right. 4 times 12x equals 48x. 5x times 12x equals 60x squared. The final product is 60x squared plus 48x which is the same product from earlier. Now let's see how much you have understood. Can you multiply these polynomials? Let's use the distributive property of multiplication to rearrange the factors first. Three m times five m squared equals fifteen m cubed. Three m times two m equals six m squared. Three m times negative four n equals negative twelve m n. Therefore, the final product is fifteen m cubed plus 6m squared minus 12mn. By multiplying the polynomials vertically, we can also arrive with the same answer earlier, which is 15m cubed plus 6m squared minus 12 mn. But wait, there's more. How about multiplying two binomials together? Do you know how to do it? A method known as FOIL method can be used for multiplying any two binomials. Remember, FOIL stands for first terms, outside terms, inside terms, and last terms. This is best illustrated by the smiling man here. Take note that the FOIL method is applicable for finding the product of binomials only. Now, let's try some examples. What is the product of these two binomials? F. Multiply the first terms. 5x times 3x equals 15x squared. O. Oh, multiply the outer terms. 5x times negative 7 equals negative 35x. I. Multiply the inner terms. 
3 times 3x equals 9x. L. Multiply the last terms. 3 times negative 7 equals negative 21. Now, simplify the terms. Therefore, the final answer is 15x squared minus 26x minus 21. Now, can you try solving this on your own using the FOIL method? Let's see! F. Multiply the first terms. O. Multiply the outer terms. I. Multiply the inner terms. L. Multiply the last terms. Then, simplify the terms. Therefore, the final product is 3x squared plus 5x minus 2. That was fantastic, students! Now, let's go back to the three questions earlier. The three types of polynomials are monomial, polynomial with one term, binomial, polynomial with two terms, and trinomial, polynomial with three terms. The laws of exponents states the following. The product of powers states that when we multiply powers of the same base, we add the exponents as x raised to m times x raised to n is equal to x raised to m plus n. In power of a power, we multiply the powers as x raised to m raised to n is equal to x raised to m n. And the power of a product states that a term with two or more factors raised to a power is equal to the product of its factors raised to the same power as ax raised to the power of m is equal to a raised to m times x raised to m. In multiplying polynomials, we use properties of multiplication like associative and distributive properties to rearrange the factors first. Then, we apply laws of exponents and simplify the answer. We can also multiply the terms vertically which will give the same answer. And of course, use the FOIL method when multiplying two binomials. You did great! I hope you have learned a lot about polynomials today. If you did, click thumbs up and share this video to help students like you to count, solve, and enjoy math. And of course, don't forget to click the subscribe button. And to experience the magical learning with Vibal's Happy Home School program, check out the description box for more details. Again, this is Teacher Jarel, and see you on our next Numberful Wednesday.